My name is Arlene Balkansky, and I'm a reference specialist in the Serial and Government Publications Division at the Library of Congress. Newspapers provide a first look at what happens around the world. We're focused on the New York Tribune covering the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sophie, who were assassinated on June 28, 1914 in Sarajevo. This is viewed as a trigger for World War I, but it is not really the beginning of World War I. Things could have gone in another direction. But at this point, there's massive coverage of the assassination in newspapers across the world and certainly in many across the United States. Both the New York Tribune and the Volksblatt are good examples of newspaper coverage of the time. So you certainly get an, the idea of the importance of the assassination in terms of the world and in terms of Americans looking at what's happening in Europe. But you also get the sense that Americans we're thinking about other things and we're going about their daily lives and viewed this as old world conflicts. This is an important thing that continued with American newspapers, although this changed as the war progressed, particularly beginning with the sinking of the Lusitania and movement toward a pro-allied side against Germany and Austria. During the height of the war, there could be as little as three days covered in a 200-page volume. The digitization is currently underway, and eventually these 80,000 pages, which have many, many, many thousands of clippings, will be available to people. Chronicling America is a, a website that is on the Library of Congress website and includes over 11 and a half million digitized newspaper pages from 43 states, the District of Columbia, and Puerto Rico. And there's more being digitized all the time. The 11 and a half million pages aren't all oriented toward World War I. The newspaper pages included begin in 1789 with the inauguration of George Washington and go as far as 1924. I encourage everyone to go online to loc.gov to see the wide range of materials that are available related to World War I as well as a whole huge array of other topics.